Okay, now I've set up one uh, page. I want to set up another page. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. So I'm on this page. And I want to put inside here, I'm going to go to text. I want to put in the Gettysburg address. Now I showed you before how you could go file place and put the image or put the text inside there. But this time I'm just going to click and drag the text document right into InDesign. This allows me to just put it in and now I can see how big the text is. I can move it around and edit it. It looks like it fits perfectly. What I want to do though is put in the title up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Gettysburg. And I'm going to put in who it was by. So I create another text box. Now I can move these around where I want them to be. But before I get too carried away in laying out where I want the text to be, what I need to do is apply the paragraph styles. So for this, the heading, I'm going to go ahead and apply that, the heading to it. I resize it. The subheading, I'm going to apply that to Abraham Lincoln. Now, I want to do something a little bit more. I don't want to just have the Gettysburg address, but I want to have the text in actually inside, uh, or a picture of Abraham Lincoln inside. I want the text to wrap around the image. So I'm going to put in a text or an image box by clicking on this box here with an X in it. I click and I drag. I can move it wherever I want. Now, I have the image space holding there put the image in, I go File, Place, I go to my Images folder, and I find the image of Abraham Lincoln. I select Open, and now all I see is this fuzzy little area. What has happened, if you click on the Direct Selection tool, then click on the image, you see this brown line. This is showing me how big the image actually is. So I want the image to fit inside of this box here. To do that, I right click, I go down to fitting. Now, if I fit content to frame, it's going to squish the image and make sure it fits. I hit undo to control Z to undo that. So if I go down to fitting, I can go fit content proportionally and that will fill it in. And that one kind of stretches it out a little bit. If I right click again, go fitting, fit uh, fill frame proportionally, what that does is it fills the image, but it leaves blank wherever extra is in the frame. Or it cuts it off a little bit, you can see there. I can click when I'm on the brown, or white right arrow tool with the brown selection. I can adjust the photo just a little bit. Now, when my photo looks just right how I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and select the photo. And I want to change the, the wrapping of the text so that it goes around my photo. To do that, you click up here and you can change the image. Now the text is going around this image. And if I want to resize this image, notice how if I resize the box, the text wraps, but it cuts off the image. If you press Control, Shift, and you click on the corner, it will resize the image as well as keep the proportions the same. And I'm going to move this up here, maybe just on the side. right about there. And so you can see we have the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. And I don't think I've set this. Oh, yep, this is set to body text. And I have my subheading. I have my heading. So now I have my second page finished.